Now to the Christopher. Well, it's so difficult to say what you think of punk or any of its analogues without sounding about, about 55. Or, if you're talking about a woman, sounding un ungallant, as I think Peter did, rather. I mean, she's quite a pretty girl. She's quite a gifted girl. But she's got nothing at all to say when she's not on the set. And I thought the agonizing bit was where they confront her with a headmaster who's so ignorant he doesn't know the meaning of the word born, as, as he employed it himself, with a goody-goody girl of her own age, and with a, an aging trendy. And it, it is, I think Peter mentioned archbishops, it does show we've learned nothing since Mick Jagger was winched down to meet Ramsey or Wilson had... Adam's Jagger. Faith was winched down to meet um, uh, Coggan. Uh, was it that or Wilson had breakfast with the Beatles or you know, everyone feeling one must sort of get in touch with the young. Mm -hmm. And what that adds up to is terrific narcissism for the object of the program. Terrific self-importance. Immense sort of portentous remarks that she made. She should just stick to doing her stuff. And what it will show is that punk is basically innocuous, pussycat stuff, and actually changes nothing and nobody. What I don't think any of us could really say is h how that program would have hit uh, people of 18, 19, 20. Well, I don't think it would make them androgynous, um, as the Bowie uh, comparison is supposed to suggest at all. I mean, actually, she restates, you know, quite traditional female roles, mm -hmm. and the fact she wishes she was a bloke is nothing to do with the case at all. Last word from you, Peter. Peter York, Michael Billington, Christopher Hitchens, thank you.